What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on Carson Kuhlman of the Dubuque Fighting Saints, a 2014 draft eligible forward that um, is going to the University of Minnesota Duluth next year, going from the uh, the Fighting Saints to the Bulldogs. And I think he'll be an impact player as a freshman. A very good year in the USHL this season. Uh, he had 44 points in 60 in 56 games. Excuse me, was a plus 16. Didn't have a ton of penalty minutes, and you know really played a well all around game. And Dubuque's one of the finer talent finer talent producing teams in the USHL. I mean, they, you know they, they get a lot of good players. I mean, you know you look at just this season in the NHL. I mean, Johnny Gaudreau and uh, Zemgus Gergensen both played in the NHL this year. I, I mean, Gaudreau won the. Um, the Hobie Baker, so uh, those are both Dubuque Fighting Saints alum, and you know guys that have um, you know played out played very well. That they won the Clark Cup um, with those guys, and you know they've had a um, a great track record. And I mean, play, you know, I think going to Duluth is going to be a good thing for him because unlike Minnesota or Michigan or you know a preeminent powerhouse, not that Duluth isn't a powerhouse. In fact, they've won a national championship more recently than either of the aforementioned teams. Um, I think he's going to get more ice time right away, and um, you know he'll be he'll. He'll do well. Uh, he's a good playmaker. He sees the ice very well. He's got a good shot. And, um, you know, he's got a little bit of speed to him. And I, I think he'll be a good college hockey player. I mean, I think he'll start the year out in the bottom six. And I think by, you know, Christmas, New Year's, whenever, he'll be, um, you know, up in that top six, killing penalties, seeing power play time. And I think he's going to be a death penalty killer. I like his, um, I like the way he back checks. I like the way he sees the ice. I like the way he thinks the game. And uh, having that high hockey IQ with pretty good mobility makes you an adept penalty killer. You know, knowing what the other team's going to do and uh, disrupting said plays is uh, is a good thing. And I, I, again, I um, as I started like an idiot, I, I like his all-around game, and I think he's going to be an impactful freshman next year at, uh, at Duluth. And, um, you know, turn some heads. I mean, I look at him going somewhere between the third and fourth rounds and, uh, you know, being a good value pick. I mean, he's in the late 95, so, you know, you know people are going to be scared away that he's a little bit older. Older meaning, you know, three, four months. But, um, you know, I think he's going to be, um, you know, a very good all-around player. He's going to take some time to develop, as most kids do, and uh, in a few years be a legitimate uh, pro prospect. I mean, he... He's played in the USHL coming into the season. Played a little bit with the U.S. Uh, U18 team last year, so he's he's seen a few different situations. He's been playing at a high level for a long time, and uh, I think he's going to continue to um, to play at that level and develop and be a um, you know all-around impact player. I like his game. You know, I like the fact he plays a full 200 foot game uh -huh, for a kid that age. Just you know showing that he's ahead of the curve and means you can use him in a few different situations that you might not use these one dimensional players when they come into a college as a freshman. But uh, anyway that's like an episode of the power play with CJ prospect profiles on Carson Kuhlman of the Dubuque Fighting Saints. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later guys.